What up, what up, what up, we're back. I'm Strategic Sully, and I'm here to bring you all your tips, your tricks, your strategies you need to dominate at mobile gaming. With that being said, let's get into some Clash Royale today. Starting off on the main account, we're going to get into some live battles, hopefully collect some crowns for the clan chest, and see what we can do. We're still rocking that same Royal Giant deck. Let's see what we can produce. Level 10, 4,002 trophies. He's from Satans of Hell. Let's see how deadly he really is. Going to start back off with the Fire Spirits in the back. This is probably one of the worst starts with this deck. So now we have Mega Minion and Fire Spirits. Let's see how he responds to it. He's going to log. He's got to deal with that Mega Minion or it will get a few shots off. He's going to send in a Hog Rider. I'm going to send in a Furnace right there to deal with that. And then we're going to start off with a Royal Giant. Now, thankfully, the Furnace survived, which is really, really nice. Because we can zap this down. We didn't have the Fire Spirits. The Fire Spirits will kill the Minion Horde. Oh, baby, but he zaps him down. So just my tower is going to get rid of that Minion Horde. We're going to end up just taking one shot from it. We're still up. We know what he has now. He's pushing with a Hog Rider. He's got that Minion Horde to protect. And my Fire Spirits are going to be super strong against that. So I'm excited that I have them with me. Now my Musketeer is going to go back to the left. We're going to start off with another push and see what we can produce. How he's going to respond to this will be interesting as well. A fireball down right there. Was it the best of moves? Probably not. He might log this down to get rid of the Musketeer. Like I said, we can send in the Fire Spirits now. He'll either send in the Cannon or those Goblins. Okay, that's fine with me because, like I said, one of my Fire Spirits got to the tower. His level 7 Hog Rider is not a threat at all. Because it's level 7, my Furnace will always survive if I play properly against the hog rider even if it was level eight they would negate each other and same with level nine so now we have royal giant mega minion i would expect a cannon perfect just like that where's the minion horde is the question boom there's that minion horde let's zap that so we ended up taking out most of them and then we will use the fire spirits to take out the rest and now we have about a half health royal giant down at the tower he's got elite barbarians this is where it's going to get tricky Ice Wizard comes down, we don't have a lot of elixir, so we're going to have to play another Mega Minion and not a log, because the log is not going to help me as much as the Mega Minion would, even though we, we will take more immediate damage. So we're going to send in a Royal Giant Mega Minion, he's got the Spear Goblins coming down, I'm not worried about that, let's zap the Spear Goblins and the Cannon, here comes the Minion Horde, let's see if he can play some, no, he's going to go Elite Barbs, which is fine with me. So we fire spirited the Elite Barbs, and then we're sending in the Ice Wizard, and then we have a Furnace down for that Hog Rider, along with the Elite Barbarians. We're going to zap the Hog Rider, and now we're still up. Not by much, about 300 damage. He does have the Fireball, which he has not been using. So he has Fireball Log, so that's about 300 plus damage he can get done with that alone. So we have to keep our tower with out of that range if we want a chance to win this match so we're going to send in a royal giant like i said there's that fireball we talked about there's that log so now he should be within range of another fireball log so we're going to log this right here we're going to send in the mega minion see what he can do he's going to send in the hog rider but we already took the tower down you gotta play smart and you guys realize how i calculated that fireball and that log that's something you got to keep in mind whether he's got the rocket rocket mirror maybe he's got arrows log zap whatever it is you have to know a range of that damage and keep your tower out of that range or it's going to come back and bite you let's get into another one so in this match we're going against max from pycb he's another level 10 4001 trophies we're going to send in a musketeer to the back that's how we like to start either musketeer or mega minion on occasions i'll have to start royal giant in the back it's not my favorite play but sometimes you just got to deal with what you're dealt so he hasn't responded with anything so i want to say he's pretty prepared for this musketeer so let's see how prepared he is for the musketeer and the royal giant now we have fire spirits coming in we're going to zap that skeleton army which the musketeer and the fire spirits were able to deal with now he's got more fire spirits coming in he also has the ice wizard the Ice Wizard is a very strong card against the Royal Giant because of how severely he slows the Royal Giant down, but you also need to back that Ice Wizard up. An Ice Wizard alone is going to help out the tower take as much minimal damage as possible, but not enough where it's like, oh wow, well, you can just send in the Ice Wizard. So let's see, we have Ice Wizard coming down, he's got Elite Barbs, we are going to Log Furnace Mega Minion this, because we definitely need to get rid of these Rage Sons of Guns. So they ended up getting two shots off, that's not too bad, like I said many, many videos of Elite Barbs are way too overpowered, 
I still completely agree with that statement. So he's got this Ice Wizard coming in. We're going to send in the Musketeer and then hopefully get the Royal Giant down at the bridge. And so we'll take one or two shots from this Ice Wizard. Yep, two shots. Now we have Musketeer Royal Giant coming in. I'm ready with the Fire Spirits, also ready with the Zap. See, this is a great time to Zap because you Zap. Oh, oh, come on. That was in range and you guys saw it. That was ridiculous. That edge of that Zap was so on that Inferno Tower. That was stupid. Okay. So now that that was a complete wash, we need to set back up with another push and watch out for these Rage the Lee Barbarians. So we're going to send in a Furnace right here just to protect because I feel like he wants to send them in. And sure enough, there they go. So we got Fire Spirits down for them along with Ice Wizard, both towers and the Furnace to distract. So now we have the Royal Giant coming back in. We're also going to send in the Mega Minion. We also have the Zap ready for the Skeleton Army. Nope, he's going to send it right in like that. We're going to Zap the Inferno Tower, log down the Skeleton Army. Hopefully the Royal Giant can get at least one shot off on the tower. One shot's what we got, two shot's what we get, and the Mega Minion moves in towards the tower, gets one or two shots off. That's awesome. Now we have the Musketeer and the Royal Giant back down. He's got to send in the Rage the Elite Barbarians, but where is he going to play them? We're not 100% sure just yet. So we're going to zap just like that, and then we're going to log down right here. And he is definitely getting scared, just wasted two elixir on the Fire Spirits that did not get anything done because they got logged over. So now we're at 132 left. That is a log zap away. He's He knows that. He knows that that's what's happening, and he is very, very scared. So there's that rage. you got to be prepared for this stuff, people. You have to be prepared. So there's that zap, and there's that log, and that's the match. You have to stay calm. If I wouldn't have played that furnace, those rage silly barbarians could have done massive amounts of damage to the point where maybe we could have lost. Let's get into another one. All right, so in this one, we're going against Sir G003. 4,001 trophies. Let's see what we can do. Musketeer to the back left is one of my favorite starts. I, I used to play to the right a lot, but now I've been starting to play to the left as of probably three or four months ago. But in the beginning, I always went right, but then I was like, you know what? A lot of people are going right. Let's start going left. Level 9 Elite Barbarians is not something you see often, which is pretty nice because usually I'm going against either 11, 12s, or sometimes max level. So we're going to send in the log right here to get rid of that princess. <gasps> she didn't step forward soon enough. Oh my goodness. The humanity. Okay, so we're going to send in an ice wizard now to my tower. Hopefully, we can get rid of this princess before she hits the tower. Of course, we cannot. Why would we be able to, folks? So the princess is going to continually do damage to my ice wizard until it's about half health. And we have to be more you know set back with the log because I couldn't believe that princess didn't step forward in time another a level 7 hog rider is not something to be scared of up here I see on average either 9s 10s 8s and then 12s I mean and then 11s and I rarely rarely see 7s so it's pretty much a, a very pleasant match right now the fact that he's got level 7 rares a level 4 bowler, that's nothing to be scared of. You definitely need to pay attention to him because he can't. He is a very powerful card. I think he's overpowered with his range that he rolls his boulder. So we're going to zap that down. I think that last bowler rock was a little ridiculous. But I'm usually seeing level 6 epics. I'd say I see 6, 5, 7, 4 in the levels of epics in the most common levels. So he's got the Hog Rider coming in now. I have the Furnace down for that. Like I said, the Furnace, my favorite defense, and that is right there for that reason. So we're going to set up with Musketeers in the back. He's going to send in Elite Barbarians, which is an interesting play here. We're also going to pull his Mega Minion, which is level 7, with our level 9. Now, he did a significant amount of damage to my right, but we also now have a Royal Giant moving into the left, and he just lost his best counter to it. For some odd reason, my finger just slipped, and we dropped an absolutely disgusting log. So now we have to sit back because we're two elixir lower than we should. Drop a furnace right here along with more fire spirits. And then we're going to drop a mega minion on top of the princess. And his freaking elite barbarian moves in with the miner. Let's see what we can do. Ice Wizard has to go down to slow this hog rider 
And then we're going to drop a furnace right here. Boom, baby. You cannot touch my tower. I like it a lot. I like it. I like it a lot. So we were able to pick up that dub. Like I said, some misplayments by my fingers. I don't really know why. 29 trophies. Let's get into one more. Oh, wait, we're going against Papu from Thai Citizen. He's a level 11. Again, that's the normal level I do see. Sometimes I see 12, sometimes 10s. Very rarely do I see 13s. He's got three Musketeers level 9, so he's definitely an even level player with me. Now, Log Zap's going to be really strong against them. The fact of the matter is these Musketeers should cancel. He's going to send in a Hog Rider, though, which could get pretty, pretty cheeky. So let's log fire spirit this, and hopefully we're able to take them out. So he's actually going to be able to get some damage off on both sides, but not a ton. Two shots, I think, to the left and one to the right. So now he's got this coming in, and this could get pretty disgusting. So we send in the Ice Wizard to slow them down, Mega Minion to help do damage. We're probably going to take massive amounts of damage right here. How is he going to respond to this? probably pretty easily this is not a tough group of cards to deal with like i said not too hard he can send in archers and be just fine so let's see what he's gonna do with these archers is he gonna back it up with a hog rider what's gonna happen we don't know we're sending in the royal giant we have to get aggressive on this one because if we don't it's gonna come back and bite us so there's the three musketeers we're gonna log that down and then also on top of that we could have zapped but actually my musketeer was able to take out two of his which is really really nice so now we're going to zap and then we're going to send in the fire spirits to get rid of that musketeer because we do not want to lose that tower and we almost did folks we almost lost that tower due to the ice golem the ice spirit a lot of damage to be dealt right there so let's sit back relax and see what he's gonna play now he's got the hog rider he's got the elite barbarians definitely cards to not take lightly there's that hog rider with the elite barbarians absolutely madness these cards are we're gonna send in the log right there should kill the hog rider it does we're also going to zap and then see Oh, baby, we don't take a single shot from the Hog Rider or the Elite Barbarian. So he committed 10 Elixir to that. I don't think we committed that much. So let's send in a Royal Giant to the back. He's got the Three Musketeers split up really nicely. We're going to see what we can do with this. we got to get rid of this Ice Golem. He's going to back up the Musketeer to the left. That was really stupid that he just fireballed that down. So let's send in Fire Spirits and a Furnace. And his musketeers took out my royal giant. That is absurd. That is absurd. So now we have royal giant ice wizard. That musketeer is totally dead in the water. Let's see what we can do with this. Musketeers logs. Let's see if we can zap these sons of guns. See if we can get anything else done. Oh my goodness. 88 hit points left. Can we take the tower out? Oh come on musketeer. Go get one shot. No! So close. What a tough, tough match to lose. Absolutely ridiculous. He starts crying, but you're not going to win them all. But we did end up picking up a lot of crowns. Let's open up this crown chest. All right, let's see what we get in our crown chest. 557 gold, 3 gems, 13 barbarians, 24 archers, 31 unneeded elite barbarians and eight pumps now let's check how everybody's doing in the clan chest right now so right now there's about a day and 13 hours left in the crown chest we're four out of ten with 481 crowns i'm sitting down here at 16 crowns like i said i have not been playing much but the interesting thing is it's only three days what do you guys think about this should they made it four days should they have kept it the same i want to know what you guys think about this new chest with lower rewards lower gold but it's more frequent what do you think how is your clan doing right now but with that being said all my social media handles are right there boom 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 links are down in the description and as always thank you for watching subscribe down below and i'll catch you all in the next episode